Welcome to a code report advent of code solution video for the year 2021. I am not sure how far we will go into this year's advent of code, but I've decided to try and make very, very brief solution videos uh, for at least the first several days and we'll see how far we get. So without further ado, let's skip into problem one. As you can see, I'm gonna be solving these live and I might cut it up a little bit, but for the most part, I'll leave my whole thinking process, um, you know, actually in the video so you can see what it's like to solve these solutions interactively with a language like APL and array language. So uh, we are gonna skip over the first bit of this that just talks about that you have a tree, uh, that's fantastic. And I've already pre-read the first part to this problem at least. And it basically boils down to that you're given a sequence of numbers and you need to identify how many adjacent pairs of numbers um, do you have where the second number is greater than the first number. So for instance, here 200 is greater than 199, 208 is greater than 200, so that's one, two. Uh, but when we get to 210 and 200, 210 is greater than 200, so this one, uh, the first number is greater, so you don't count that. And it says for this uh, test case, you're gonna get seven. So if we hop over to our ride editor, we will see that I have sort of our example preloaded here. So we have a list of numbers and the there's a very simple way to solve this in APL and it's using an n-wise reduction. So an n-wise reduction is basically where you specify n, which in our case is gonna be two because we want two adjacent elements. And then um, you have to specify a binary operation, which I'll just put question mark here and then slash. So this is basically gonna say it's gonna take, take two elements at a time and then apply some binary reduction, uh, which is gonna be defined by our uh, question mark, and then um, apply that to each of our two elements at a time. So for instance, uh, if we just wanna make pair or make a list, we can use catenate, and that's gonna give us two adjacent elements at a time. It's sort of hard to see this, but if we turn on boxing, uh, we can then see, if we zoom out a tiny bit, that it takes two elements at a time, and note, that if I do three, it'll give me three elements at a time. So if we go back to two and we replace the binary operation uh, of catenate with less than, this is gonna give us either a true or false, AKA a one or zero for whether or not, uh, you know, 200 is, or 199 is less than 200. And so if we do this, we'll just get a Boolean mask of ones and zeros, which correspond to all of the pairs of numbers where the second one is greater than the first one, or in other words, the first one is less than the second one. And then we can just uh, sum these up to get our answer, which is seven, which is what corresponds to the answer provided by the website. We can put this sort of in two different forms of a solution. So we can create a defund, which just uses omega as our argument and braces to define sort of where the defund starts and ends. Or we can make it point free by using parentheses, not mentioning our argument omega, and then using a right tack in order. Uh, you need to put a right tack to the right of an n-wise reduction in order to get it to parse correctly. So if we do this, we're gonna get seven both times. So now let's go and load in the test data. I'm gonna sort of skip ahead to where I get that working and then we'll uh, get the answer. So I think I have the input working. We're just gonna use this quad and get, and I've loaded the uh, input into a text file called 01a.txt. So if we do this, we should get our data. So it looks like there's 2000 elements. And if we do a 10 take, it'll show us the first 10. Um, so if we go back to what our solution was, which was plus, plus slash two less than reduce identity on data, we should get 1583. So if we hop over now to our thing, type in 1583, submit, woohoo, one gold star. All right, continue to part two. Now I'm gonna skip ahead once I understand what this question is and then I'll just explain it. All right, so I haven't fully read the problem, but I'm pretty sure all this is asking us to do is sum the two adjacent elements, or is it summing, yeah, summing three adjacent elements and then doing the same uh, adjacent comparison to, seeing, to, uh, to see if the three sums increases. So this should also be extremely easy in a language like APL. So let's switch back to our ride editor um, and let's see if we can uh, get back our original data. So here's our original data. 
If we want to get the three sums, we just do exactly what we did, an n-wise reduction before, but once again, uh, instead of doing a catenate or less than, we're just going to do a plus. And that gives us our sums, which you can see if we quickly switch back, 607, 618, 618 um, is exactly what we want. And so now with this, we're just going to do uh, the same thing that we did before, which is a two less than uh, n-wise reduction. And if we do this, we do a summation after that, and we get five, which I believe is the correct answer. So once again, um, it's easiest if we turn this into a defund. If we do this, do we use the same uh, data as before? I think so. So we hit this, 1627, which is surprising that that is greater, 1627. And we submit, and we're done. Woohoo! Um, so let's see, just for fun, if we can change this last solution into point free. Um, so how will this parse? I don't think this should work, but it does, because um, I'm not a super familiar. So I guess this is a three train and then Three, so this is a five train, and that makes this a six train. I think I could be wrong. Um, so I think the way that this parses is this together with identity forms a three train, which is going to then evaluate as a fork, a.k.a. an NYS reduction. And then the addition of these two things, even though this is technically a scalar, a.k.a. an array, a one rank array, this will still be uh, sort of a five train, a.k.a. a three train plus two other verbs. And then this monadic operation here just gets tacked onto the end. So, hope you found this fun. This probably went way longer than I wanted, but in the future, I'll try and solve these in less than like five or 10 minutes. Um, yeah, if you like this, hit the like button. Hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something, and we'll see you in the next video.